Hey everyone, welcome back to my Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to convert image to an ASCII art using Python. Before proceeding further, please be sure to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. First, we will install the required libraries. Type pip install pillow. Similarly, install the NumPy library. Now, open your IDE. Then, you are good to follow along. Let's import all the required library. From PIL, import image. Import NumPy as MP. We will use a character ramp, which will contain all the characters that will be used in generating the art. Copy the character ramp from this website. Link to the website will be in description. Let's define an average function, which will average all the pixel values, of the image passed to it. Convert the image to NumPy array, using np.array method. Return the average of flattened array of the image. The flatten method converts all the nested arrays into one single array. Let's write a convert function, where we will convert the image, into an ASCII art. It will take image path, image scale, and font scale as arguments. If the scale of the image is greater than 1, we will raise an exception. This is because, we will be dividing the image into small tiles, and total width of all tiles would exceed the actual width of the image, which could pose a problem. Open the image, and convert it to grayscale. Let's get the width and height of the image. Now, we will determine the total number of columns of ASCII characters, by multiplying image's height, with the image scale. Let's compute the width of the tile, by dividing the image's width, by the number of columns. The height of the tile would be, its width, divided by the font scale. The total number of rows would be, integer of image's height, divided by tile's height. Now, declare an empty array, which will hold each line of the ASCII art. Use a for loop 
in range of number of rows. We will now, compute some coordinates, which will be required to crop the image to specify tile. The Y1 coordinate will be, integer of, J times H. The Y2 coordinate would be, integer of, Y1 plus H. If J equals to the last row, we will correct the Y2 coordinate, by setting it to image's height. This is to avoid the top edge of the image, from getting cut off. Let's append an empty string to the array, that we declared earlier. We will modify this string later. Use another for loop, in range of number of columns. The x1 coordinate would be, integer of, i times w. The x2 coordinate would be, integer of, x1 plus w. Similar to what we did earlier, if i, equals to last column, we will correct the x2 coordinate, by setting it to image's width. Now, we will crop the image. Use the crop method, and pass a tuple of coordinates, that we generated. Let's calculate the average brightness of this tile. Call the average function, and pass the tile to it. Now, we will calculate the index of the required character, from the character amp, based on the average brightness. It would be, average brightness multiplied by, length of character amp minus 1. We will also divide it by 255, to normalize the value. Let's get the required character from the ramp. Concatenate this character, to the string, that we appended to the array earlier. Lastly, return the array of rows of our ASCII art. Now, let's write the driver code. We will take the path of the image, as input from the user. We will also take the image scale from the user. Be sure to use float method, to convert string to a floating point number. Call the convert function, and pass the path, and image scale to it. For the font scale, I will be using a value of 0.43, which suits best for a font like Consolas, which is default for Notepad. 
feel free to play with this value, for a different font. Let's open a text file, in write mode. Iterate over the rows of ASCII art. Write these rows to the file, while adding a new line escape character to them. Here, our final program is ready. I will now save, and run it. If your image is plain and simple, you can scale it down up to 10% of its original size. As you can see, it is working as expected. Let's try it with a more complex image. For a complex image, I would recommend to go with a scale of 1, to avoid losing any details from the image. The less is the scale, the more details you will lose in the output. So, that's all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. I will see you next time, till then, good luck, and peace.